What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome to Not Your Status Quo. Today, we are going in-depth on the Inquisitors in a little video series we call In Focus. So who are the Inquisitors? Well, they come from a program called the Order of Inquisitors, and they've been called a couple different things in a, in a couple various iterations, but they are essentially a group of Force-sensitive agents who work on behalf of the Sith and the Empire. Their main mission is to track down and corrupt or eliminate the last remaining Jedi that survived Order 66 and any Force-sensitive children. Although the exact number of Inquisitors was kept secret, there have been as many as 12. Many Inquisitors joined the dark side due to torture or corruption. Upon joining the ranks, the Force-sensitives effectively lost their identities. They were given numerical designations to represent their entry into an organization that perverted everything the Jedi had stood for. A Palin Jedi Temple Guard, who became the Grand Inquisitor, joined Sidious when the Sith Lord promised him access to the Jedi Archives. The Ninth Sister was the former Jedi Masana Tide. The Tenth Brother was the former Jedi Master Prosit Dibs, who joined Sidious at the end of the Clone Wars. The Second Sister was former Jedi Padawan Trilla Sudilla, who was captured shortly after Order 66 and tortured into joining the Dark Side. Darth Vader soon discovered the program and was put in charge of them by his Sith Master. Vader trained the Inquisitors in the ways of the dark side of the Force. As part of their training, a number of Inquisitors had parts of their bodies severed by Lord Vader's lightsaber so that they would not forget the lesson of loss. After Vader cut off the Six Brothers' left lower arm, the Grand Inquisitor began questioning Vader's training techniques. Vader claimed that he was intending to have the Inquisitors abandon their tendency to fight defensively as former Jedi and adopt more offensive moves. Star Wars Rebels was the first time the Inquisitors were shown off. Led by the Grand Inquisitor, the group of Inquisitors often clashed with Ezra and company as they had adventures around the galaxy. The Grand Inquisitor was shown fairly early in the show's run and had numerous run-ins with Kanan and Ezra, but chose to end his own life rather than face Darth Vader and the Emperor after failing to capture them. With the death of the Grand Inquisitor, Darth Vader assumed command and dispatched the fifth brother and seventh sister to fight Ezra and Kanan group. Upon the re-emergence of Darth Maul, Darth Vader dispatched the Eighth Brother to take him down. Unfortunately for Darth Vader and the Inquisitors, Darth Maul dispatched all three of them very quickly and killed the Fifth Brother, Seventh Sister, and Eighth Brother in the Season 2 finale of Rebels, Twilight of the Apprentice. In the E.K. Johnson novel, Ahsoka, set about a decade before the events of Star Wars Rebels, the novel manages to bridge some of the time between Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and Rebels, and the sixth brother was sent to kill her. However, he was unsuccessful at doing so, but this did inform Vader and the Grand Inquisitor of her presence. Jedi Fallen Order is about a survivor of Order 66, a Padawan named Cal Kestis, who became the target of the second sister and the ninth sister. The two sisters battle Cal and his crew numerous times throughout the game, the ninth sister is defeated by Cal, and the second sister is killed by Darth Vader in what has to be one of the coolest endings to a game in recent memory. You have failed me, Inquisitor. Avengers! They have also appeared in numerous comic books. One that stands out to me is Darth Vader 17. Vader and the Inquisitors go hunting a Jedi down, but in doing so, the Jedi confronts them about what they're doing and how they've gotten to where they are. The comic does a good job of highlighting that indeed, many of the Inquisitors were at one point Jedi Knights. It plays to the vulnerability of these characters and fleshes them out, so they're more than just one-dimensional villains. Those are, my, those are some of my favorite stories with Inquisitors in them. Are there any that I missed that you guys really enjoy? Please add me at Twitter, leave a comment down below, and we will see you next time on Not Your Status Quo.